Hello, so today we're going to be talking about the 2005 AP Calculus Free Response Questions Form B. Question 3 states, a particle moves along the x-axis so that its velocity v at a time t for t being greater than 0 and less than 5 is given by the equation v of t equals ln times t squared minus 3t plus 3. The particle is at a position x equals 8 and at time t. So part A states, find the acceleration of the particle at time, at time is 4. So to find the acceleration, it technically is a derivative of the velocity. So therefore, to find the acceleration, we find the derivative of the velocity. So we write on the equation, v of t will equal ln t squared minus 3t plus 3. So here now we take the derivative. And the derivative right now is a chain rule. The chain rule is multiplying the outside and then multiplying it by the inside. So we have v, derivative of v equals 1 over t squared minus 3t. Because ln is 1 over x, so an x is this, times the derivative of the, of the inside. Over y. So you simplify. And at this point, you can continue to simplify, or you can just plug in your t equals 4. At t will equal 4. And then you simplify. So then your derivative or your acceleration is 5 over 7. Okay, so part B states, find all times t in the open interval t greater than 0 and less than 5 at which the particle changes direction during which time? During which time intervals for t greater than 0 and and less than 5 does the particle travel to the left. So what we do is we have to set velocity equal to 0. Velocity t equal to 0. So you have ln t squared minus 3t plus 3 equal to 0. And to get your variables by yourself, you'd have to divide so you just e and e to the zero would be one. One is one. So then now you have to equal to zero so you can subtract one to three plus two will equal zero. So now at this point you gotta find your zeros. You have t T minus 2 minus 1. You have T minus 2 will equal 0. T minus 1 will equal 0. Z will equal 2. And T will equal 1. Once you reach at this point, you got to answer the second part of the question. So the second part of the question states, during which time intervals for T being less than 5 and greater than 0 does the particle travel to the left? So you have t equals 2 and t equals 1. So you put that into an interval. So that would be 1 is less than t, but t is less than 2. So t is going to be traveling to the left when 1 is less than t 
and t is less than 2. And that is your final answer. So part C states, find the position of the partic particle at time 2. So for the position, they already gave us that the particle is at a position at x equals 8 at time 0. So it says we have the to find the position of the particle at time 2. So for the position, we write st will equal s0 plus the integral of 0t and then using the velocity equation ln t squared minus 3t plus 3. So because they have already given us the position at time 0, which is 8, we just plug it in, plus, and for this t, they already given it to us, we have to find it at t equals 2, integral 2, so for this part, we can use our calculator, so I have a ti inspire, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this equation on this calculator. So we're going to put 8 plus, and now to find the integral, to write this integral, we click here. So then we're going to put 0 for the bottom, 2, ln, so we're going to have tx squared, which is t squared, minus 3x plus 3, and then you put an x. Instead of t's, I put x's on my calculator to make it easier. And equal that. And that is going to be 8.368. That will be 8.368. And that is your answer. So part D of this question asks to find the average speed of the particle over the interval T being greater than 0 and being less than 2. So what you do here is we have to find the interval or the speed. Find the average speed, sorry. Find the average speed of the particle. So then we write 1 half the interval 0 to 2 absolute value of the velocity dt. We write one half before the integral because we want to find the average speed. So we could just to put it easy, make it easier for us so we could put it in our calculator, just write the whole equation ln t squared minus 3t plus 3. After the value sign, dt. So now we are going to plug it in to our calculator. So we're going to plug in this equation in here. Okay, so this is how it's going to look on your calculator if you have a TI Inspire. Click enter. And that is your answer. The answer would be 0 0.370. And that is it for question 3.